Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we are doing a little run as Tainted Maggie with two pretty interesting items, both from something wicked. Booster box we have seen before a few times, but in case you don't know what it does, killing an enemy has a chance to use a random tarot card effect. Pretty interesting. Um, it reduces the effect after a card activating and the certain ones that can't be drawn, but then we're going to pair it with a trinket called Card Graveyard. 50% to use a random card on damage with similar rules to booster box. So both killing and damaging ourselves is going to potentially use cards. So as you can see already, it's going to get pretty wacky, which is why we've gone as Tainted Maggie here. Of course, <laughs> there is the random chance that uh, we're going to do stuff like this, which not what I was uh, anticipating. Now, that is because we are... Um, we are using a bunch of mods that add different cards, and those cards have not been blacklisted. Those cards have not been tweaked in their rarity at all, and that is something that uh, might need doing with certain cards, because there's some of them that could affect uh, to kill us or do certain things. It's going to be interesting either way. I'm, re I'm really excited to just see how chaotic this gets, because I'm sure it's going to get pretty wacky. I mean, we've already accidentally skipped an entire floor, which is not something I was planning on doing. Um... But there's going to be a lot of cards going off. My god. There's going to be a lot of cards. Oh my god, it's another something wicked item. This one just allows us to fire little egg sacks that spawn uh, thingies every now and again. They spawn spiders. So, that's kind of nice to have. There's one of them there, look. Beautiful. Check what's going on in here. Oh, baby, I would like that. I need a key real badly. I very much need a key. Try and make that work for me. I'll go to my cash room over here as well. But yeah, a little bit of a shame to have accidentally skipped the first floor there. But we got the Corruption card, which is a card from the Community Remix mod, which uh, teleports you to an error room. So not one that you want to be seeing very often. Got Wisdom there. That's going to teleport us to the Super Secret Room. Slightly annoying because we're now back way over here and we're trying to go to our cash room. I did say that certain teleport cards are... Um, I, like, have a low chance to activate, but as I said, those modded teleport cards, they, their weights have not been changed at all, which means that they're going to show up reasonably regularly compared to normal. Uh, there you go. Look, we just got a card that teleported us into the room we were already in. Kind of interesting. I can pop this a little bit. We got a stars card there. Okay. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is all over the place. My god. Right, then we've got this, which opens into this, which opens into this. And then we get ourselves a little Soul of Maggie. Lovely. And we got ourselves a pretty good item for this character. An item that's going to allow us to deal damage from up close and personal. The Devil. Devil. Soul Heart there as well. Oh, man. This is, this is going to be a really wacky but very fun run. Um, I'm quite excited to see just how far it goes. Because <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, a bit interesting. Now, what I might do as well, I know it's a little cheesy, but once we get to the womb, I might, if we don't find it naturally, I might give myself the wafer, uh, just so that we can still hit ourselves on enemies without it absolutely killing us. Uh, I'm going to go angel deal here, I think. Because, yeah, I would like to actually be able to um, utilize our running into people effects without dying. Oh my god, we got a planetarium. I suppose we did skip an item room, so it was a little more likely to happen here. Judgment there. Oop, horse pill, lovely. Ooh, a big I'm drowsy. I'm surprised the uh, the horse pill version doesn't just make it so that it lasts through rooms, rather than it being a one room effect. Of course, our trinket is locked in here. We're not changing that at any time. The world, the devil. But yeah, so when we kill an enemy, there's a chance for a card, and when we take damage, there's a chance for a card. Much higher chance on taking damage than killing an enemy. Chariot going off there. Don't think either of these really matter to us, but I'll take the uh, tainted one, because that's fun. Why not? And there's our planetarium over there. We've got enough keys right now, so let's go over there after this room. We'll just, Actually, we'll clear all the rooms up, and, up until the boss, and then we'll uh, head on our way back. I'm not sure why everything's exploding right now. It must be a tainted treasure room item. I'm guessing. But yeah, we are going to have a lot of resources coming our way. A lot of... Strange teleports happening, some accidental floor skips. There's just going to be all sorts of stuff happening for us here. Right, I'm going to use my yum heart here. Devil card, we're getting a lot of those going off. Boop, boop, boop. 
good. Back up to full. Oh my god, is that a card? <laughs> I haven't seen enough of those yet. Ooh, an item I hate, but I'll take. Brownie. An item I quite I normally quite hate, but I actually don't mind it that much this time around, considering um we are gonna be running into enemies anyways. It's just an item that normally gets me hit quite a bit, but if I'm already getting hit quite a bit, it's not that big of a downside, really, is it? Also, as well, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did some tweaks to my microphone recently, and there should be a lot less uh, keyboard sounds, especially when I'm not talking. There should be a lot more silent. Oh, dude, these teleports are going to get very frustrating. I just want to go to the planetarium. I'm honestly going to bomb my way through the, uh, the secret room to make it a bit quicker. Oh, I wanted to get that. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bomb my way through the secret room to make this faster, because otherwise it's going to take even longer. Waste of a bomb, really, but a saviour of my sanity. And what we got going on in here? Um, that's Uranus, I think. But that, I think this is better for us. I think Palace is, is the better one here. Um, if we take a look at what Palace does. Damage up for each new room explored. Yeah, because that's going to affect our hug damage, which is why I took that instead. Um... Although Uranus is a fun item, I think Palace could potentially be better for us, so that's why I went for that one. Right. Get in there. Oh god, Brownie, you are... You are somewhat rotten, Brownie. You are somewhat rotten. But, looks like we got him. And we kept our Angel Deal alive. And we got another one of these, which is going to be helpful. Another little orbital. And we get an insane amount of extra damage here. Puts our damage to 7. Walk out the room. Doubles it. Don't know why, but it still does. And very nice amount of damage there for us. We are going to be absolutely smacking kids with our hugs. It's going to be lovely. Yeah, we lost a little bit of damage there, but as we clear rooms, we'll um, see that that damage will return to us. And then our base damage will be even higher for the next area. Drink it I don't want, sadly. Yum heart is good to go. The only thing is, we've got these all these burn orbitals that are doing damage to enemies when, realistically, I don't actually want that to happen. Gonna get quite a few high priestesses, <laughs> high priestesses coming down on occasion, I think. Okay, we got rid of most of our burn orbitals in that last room. The sun. The sun's just like an instant room clear for us as well, so... That certainly helps. And a full heal. Honestly, the sun's like one of the better cards we can get, realistically. Bit of Hanged Man. Lovely. Not very necessary for that room there, but thank you for trying. Oh, these guys are going to poo out some... Unknowns are interesting, because that can proc any card. I think we've got a HP up. At least for now, we've got a HP up. I don't know where I got that from. Little horn fell. Um, is this, uh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Creates a portal. Ow. Creates a portal leading to the uh, treasure room or planetarium. Um, if the room has not been visited, rerolls items into planetarium items. Okay, well, we'll uh, save that for the next floor then, shall we? Wait. I'm confused. When did I get Saturnus? What? <laughs> when did I get Saturnus? It's literally in my item list. Where did that come from? I'm so confused. <laughs> did- Wait! All my items have been rerolled. <laughs> when did that happen? I need to give myself the booster box back. Here you go. This is my showcase item. I can't not have that. <laughs> this is, uh... This has been a little confusing. I didn't realize that I'd accidentally re-rolled myself. But I managed to keep Palace, though. Which is... Oh, wait, no. I, 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 is that not Palace? Hold up. Wait, where is it? I don't see it anymore. Paternus. Oh, no, I still... Uh, yeah, I do still have Palace. I kept Palace somehow. Hmm. 
Get wrecked pin. Oh, Harifon? Hell yes. I only rerolled some of my items by the looks of it. Little confusing. Little confusing. Uh, yeah. And then this. Oh my god, Tarot Cloth could be pretty amazing with this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Half a... Dude. I get half a heart whenever I use a card now. Half a soul... No, I get a full... Because it uses two cards, I get a full soul heart every time I use a card. Hold up a minute. Is this going to be as broken as I think it's going to be? How how could a black marker have the most godly stuff for us here? Hey, that removed a broken heart. We've got Fistful of Ash, a lot more Tinted Rocks, uh, but we gain one broken heart at the uh, start of every floor, but destroying a Tinted Rock has a chance to remove a broken heart. So, I need to hit myself here and see if I get a full soul heart for triggering a card, because that would be absolutely wild if that's the case. Also, I can use this now. I get myself this, which I don't know if that's good or not. I got spurred. Honestly, Saturnus isn't the best, because it makes it make it hard to hit like hit myself on enemies. Hierophon, I think that worked. Oh my lord. I am invincible. I am a god. <laughs> yeah. It heals me. As if we got tarot cloth and that uh, manuscript item in just one room. Oh, dude, don't don't be like that. That's so annoying. Wait, also, I thought Spurred gave you flight. Okay, it does. I don't know why I didn't go over that last time. There you go. Um, What's happening? <laughs> why is there so many planetarium items coming out of nowhere? I'm so confused. Does something to do with Spurred, maybe? I really don't know. I really don't know. There's a lot happening. I, that's all I can tell you. There's a lot happening. Where's our boss at? Here we go. <laughs> this is just... This run has uh, has become something I did not expect. I have become virtually invincible. Now I just gotta hope that I don't get another full run reroll from somewhere. I don't even know why, really why I went in there. Down we go. This is uh, this has played well into my favor, hasn't it? I got my broken heart there. Owner of a broken heart. Oh, dude. I think the item that we got from the shop. Um, pickups have a 20% chance to be upgraded. Chance to gain Holy Mantle when taking damage based on the total number of pickups you have. Yeah. So we're going to be gaining random Holy Mantles on occasion, which is pretty nice. I like that. I like that. There's another Holy Mantle. We, uh, we keep accidentally upgrading regular hearts into full red hearts. Which is kind of nice. Destroy you. Yeah, this is uh, this has been a, a really, really crazy run so far. <laughs> Not expected at all. I mean, I knew it'd be a good run. I knew it'd be strong, but... I didn't expect to get, like, literally the exact right items we needed to make this work. Here comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. Check out what's going on here. There's the tinted rock that we need. Hey, the broken heart is gone. Gives you a consumable orb that always grants three to four standing familiars. And additionally, interesting. Try that out. Go heal ourselves up with that. Go to our item room real quick here. It 
it's okay. The cards, they're helping me. Ooh, honestly, speedball. I'm well up for more speed right now, so I do not mind speedball. My shot speed was really high at one point, but apparently when I re-rolled, it must have re-rolled my stats as well, because it's much lower now. Most things are dying before I can even walk into them at this point. I barely need to do anything. Kind of beautiful. I will take you. Why not? I got conjoined on top of everything else. Another tinted rock there. Oh my lord, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, um, I guess I'll just take this. Taking damage marks source of damage with a white cross. If the enemy already marked uh, with light from above, they... D oh, dude, another on damage effect is great. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out boss rush here. We're at 11 minutes to boss rush. Wow. Um, this is kind of a tough one. The balloon's obviously the best, but it's not really going to come in handy that often. What does the beans do? I'm just going to go with a balloon. The balloon's pretty good. Right, jump, you fool. Unfortunately, we'll be spawning quite as many cards. We do have something that generates cards for us. Nice. Get wrecked. Sometimes we're just not taking damage when we're standing right next to enemies. That's quite nice. Oh, dude, no. I had a feeling we were going to get something we didn't want out of that. I had a feeling. Forces us to eat 10 random pills. That would be uh, quite a bad idea, I reckon. Um, turns all pickups in the room into coins. Removes two oldest collectibles. And spawns four from the item's current pool. Yes, please. We got ourselves part of China. Of that. What does this do again? Plus one broken heart um, and a bunch of multipliers. Let's do that three times. One, two, three. And we'll take this back. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted to happen there, but it's happened now. It has indeed happened now. Your heart's ready to go. Coat hanger, why not? Jump out of here. This is just... <laughs> being pretty wild. To be fair, we could still do boss rush. Oh wait, no, once you've taken an item. That is one thing that I've never liked about boss rush. Once you've taken an item, you can't reactivate it again. I really do think that boss rush should just be like a button that you step on. You know, like the greed waves. Um, and after, like, I, I don't know how, like, when the item would spawn, when you'd pick it up sort of thing. But just so you can reactivate it if you do teleport out of the room, it'd be nice to complete it. Because, especially in situations like this, if you're going for, um, actual, what's it called? Okay. Um... If you're going for actual completion marks, that'd be really annoying. We skipped Womb though. Not a terrible thing. Unfortunately, something that I've done actually is not given myself much room for Soul Hearts, which isn't actually ideal. Ah, because I've got Heart of China. Heart of China's given me a lot of red hearts. Not a good thing. Shouldn't have picked up Heart of China. Oh my god. Yeah, so now we only have room for one soul heart, which isn't ideal. The broken hearts might not have been the best idea. What are you going to give us here, sir? Can you give us an item? That you are. SMB super fan. Why not? Although, now we can't have any soul hearts. Okay, we only need a devil deal to get rid of a ton of hearts here. My manuscript is useless now. My manuscript was the only thing keeping me going. Boom, bow. 
still managed to keep it together for that. That's not a devil deal, how dare you? Single use may uh, replace batteries with eternal hearts. Passively consume eternal hearts if your health bar spawns in your health bar. Spawns an angel item based on how many eternal hearts are consumed. Best possible reward when at four eternal hearts are stored. Probably shouldn't use the, uh, this with four eternal hearts in a devil room. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll take it and see if we can make it work. Right, up we go. This has been an incredibly speedy run thus far. We're only at 20 minutes, but what do you expect when we manage to accidentally skip like two or three floors? The Empress. We're just loving all the on-hit effects we've got stacked up right now. They're beautiful. And the fact that we don't actually have to get hit for most of our rooms here. We just walk into enemies and Saturnus just annihilates everything. Right. Take care of all these fellas. Get you shit on. And you, every now and again we spawn a heart that is uh, a full heal as well, which is rather nice. I don't know why that happens, but I like it. Need to chill out, my guy. That was too much give me the country business, that was. This is a fun idea for an episode, and it has panned out in a rather interesting way. I can't believe we got a full run reroll in the mix as well, that's funny. So many cards used. That random chance to get the full heal heart upgraded from that item that we've got going on is uh, pretty wild. We've got to see a, a good amount of planetarium items. Modded ones as well. Oh, I lost a red heart somehow. I honestly don't really know how I managed that. Hey, Emperor's actually a pretty good one. It's the first time getting an Emperor. Hey, we got an Eternal Heart stored. Good. We just keep hurting the same half soul heart over and over again. It's working. Ah! Oh! You know what's going to happen now, don't you? I'm going to have to refight that entire boss fight because that's not going to have counted as a kill. Even though the health bar was depleted, if the animation doesn't finish, the boss isn't actually dead, so... Hey, here's another Eternal Heart for our active item to chomp on. Yep, yeah, gotta refight him again, God damn it! Oh, what? No! No! I just turned all of my heart containers into burn hearts! That's terrible! That's so bad! Although actually I could I could do to lose a few, so I'm not gonna fret too much. God damn. <laughs> Take all of this, I think. And away we go. Contagion doing a pretty good job there. Wasn't expecting that to kill quite as fast as it did. Oh my god, Contagion's going wild. Bit of GB bug, why not? Give me those card procs. There you go. I keep walking out before I pick up my cards. I have my chests even. Dude, Contagion goes wild on this floor, apparently. 2020? Why not? How come he ain't dead? It seems, I just about to say, it seems like we're going the right way here. Right. 
Right, sun card is nice. We're probably going to get a teleport card at some point here, so let's just hold our horses a little bit. Okay, we have taken a lot of damage here so far. Not great. But I'm trying to use my bombs when I can. Actually doing a pretty good job. How are you not dead yet, my guy? Next phase, my guy. Next phase. I'm out of bombs. Bugger it. Oh, the sun card. Also, pop this. Get crack. <laughs> grab a quick revelation. Why not? More beams. Well, there you go. Quick 26-minute uh, run. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a very fun one. I'll see you guys in the next one.